Yo, what's up guys? In today's video, I'm going to be talking about Daniel Gafford. I know I messed up his name in the last video, so I'm sorry about that. But honestly, I'm super excited for this young man to join our team. And in today's video, I'm just going to be talking about him and letting you guys know some stuff that we might not know about him. So to get this started, Daniel Gafford is a 6'11 center. He's only 20 years old. He's 235 pounds. And he went to Arkansas for college. At Arkansas last season, he averaged about 17 points per game, 9 rebounds a game, and 2 blocks per game. That was actually his second year in college. His first year in college, he only averaged about 12 points per game. So he upped his points by a bunch. And he upped his total rebounds by about 3 a game. And he averaged about the same amount of blocks. I saw a bunch of news going around that was saying that Daniel Gafford could have been a first round draft pick last year. But he went back to college to grow and mature and become a better player overall, which he obviously did with stats. And if you guys didn't know, he went to the same college as Bobby Portis. And I saw Daniel said that he tried shaping his game after Bobby Portis. Kind of upset we traded Bobby Portis because he was always a good six man for the Bulls, even though we got auto back and I'm pretty happy with that trade. So we pretty much got a Bobby Portis 2.0, I see people saying, but I honestly, I don't really see that. I see him more of a defensive big center. And that's exactly what the Bulls need a center that will rebound block shots run the floor and this is that's pretty much everything daniel is so i'm happy to see that he he even said position wise he's mainly a center because i seen some people in my last video saying he was a power forward which there's no way a 6 11 player is a power forward in most positions and his player comparisons are clint capella and javel mcgee and i see both of them it just depends how he develops because he's a super athletic center. I saw this one video online, it was of him blocking a shot at one end, and then him sprinting down the court and throwing down a windmill slam dunk. So yeah, I'd say he's pretty athletic, and I just, he's already pretty big for an NBA player. I feel like he'll be an amazing backup to Wendell Carter Jr. And honestly, I think the Bulls nailed this draft this year with Kobe White and Daniel Gafford, so I'm pretty excited for this season. So make sure to leave a comment below, letting me know what you guys think about this second round draft pick. Thank you, have a good one.